has the summer gone? Students in Hattiesburg will be heading back to class on Tuesday. Teachers and staff have been hard at work preparing for the 2023-24 school year. As 12 News' Brandon Rains tells us, Hattiesburg Public Schools are focused on academic success and safety. Class will soon be back in session for Hattiesburg Public Schools. The school district says it's ready for students to return August 1st. Uh, we're very excited to welcome back all of our students on next Tuesday. We look forward to having another great year in Hattiesburg Public School District. Teachers have been freshening up on their teaching skills, making sure they can help students succeed. We have to make sure that we are we stay open-minded to make sure that the goals that we are setting, we are that they're attainable and that we're also working hard to achieve them. Hattiesburg Schools will be focusing on the continued success of its pre-K program, strengthening reading levels, and preparing students for the future. We also want to make sure that our students are workforce ready as well as college ready. And so we do that through our many CTE program offerings, but we also have a work-based learning class at Hasbro High School in which we uh, have uh, staff in place who uh, meet with students, but also pair students with career opportunities. Here it's important to establish a teacher-student relationship with the students. Um, we're expecting academic excellence. We're expecting leader, more leaders throughout the school. Um, we are just trying to just shape and mold the students. This year, Hattiesburg schools are also expanding security measures to ensure the safety of its students and teachers. All students in grades 6 through 12 will have to have a clear or mesh backpack. The clear mesh backpacks at the high school campus will provide an additional safety measure. The school district says it also hopes to get every student involved in extracurricular activities, whether it be in the arts or athletics. Reporting in Hattiesburg, Brandon Rains for 12 News.